Hello everybody, welcome to Lucky Duck Games Tuesday. Uh, I really hope my mic's not muted. My stream is telling me my mic is muted. I hope that's not true. Uh, normally someone in chat will let us know if we're live. Do let us know because we're doing a bit of the two-way tonight. We're doing the long distance Las Vegas connection. Uh, <laughs> long distance microphone because Bree's joining us. I realize. Hi. <laughs> Hopefully someone will let us know that you can hear us okay. Because Brie had some news to share today. I do. That just got announced on all the Lucky Duck socials about <laughs> an hour ago, I think. So as of today, I have officially joined Lucky Duck as marketing manager for the English markets. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know there would be fireworks. Ah, of course there'll be fireworks. I mean, we, we've been celebrating for a little while because now it's just been made public, but we've been enjoying this little news for a small amount of time now. And it's wonderful to have the person who I completed the Kingdom Rush Drift in Time campaign with join the team because, like, what better companion could you ask than the ultimate co-op gamer? Uh, so yes, and I'll, Natalie says we can hear you. Yay, Welcome, you. Bree. Thank you, Natalie. Uh, Chris at Charity Board Gamer says, Conga rats. I don't know why I said thanks. I'm also very thankful. I feel like I'm being congratulated because it's great. <laughs> Andrew says, ooh, get to see the game of the year. Ah, I love it. What, Bree? You're the game of the year? <laughs> yes, we're playing some... <laughs> Yummy Yummy Monster Tummy tonight, and I'm excited. I'm excited not just because we're playing Yummy Yummy Monster Tummy, but also because I've only managed two stars on the first three levels, and I'm hoping having three here, it's going to get me to three stars. I'm not very good at this game. No pressure. <laughs> you didn't tell me that. I even know there's a surprise <laughs> pressure, right? Davey says, welcome, Bree. Thank you, Davey. Uh, Victor has some celebratory... <laughs> like, I don't know. That's the best I can do. Thank be. you, Victor. Um, this is really a great kids game. Oh, Mark, it was lovely to see you at Spiel, Mark. And yeah, we believe so. Um, also, we have a special guest tonight. If you see Brie and I doing th yes. this tonight, <laughs> we're not dancing, we're not doing the Macarena, we're not like learning to salsa. We are trying to make friends with this fly who has been making friends with us all day. All day. It's, it's, I think he's the Terminator fly. I think he legitimately keeps coming back. There's nothing we can do to stop him. So if you see this, you know why. Yeah. <laughs> not that I can do, like, not that I condone any fly on fly violence. But uh, so without much further ado, I want to talk about this little guy I met for a minute. If you haven't seen the Dice Tower, they did a 12 games of Christmas and they've done it for everything. They've done it for co op games, done it for family games, heavier games. They did a kids one as well. And they featured not just Yummy Yummy Monster Tummy, but also Kids Chronicles Quest for the Moonstones. You're going to find Yummy Yummy Monster Tummy and Kids Chronicles in stores, hopefully within the next week. We all know shipping is fun at the minute, maybe two weeks. <laughs> but around then, you should find it. Bonjour tout le monde. Hello, Didier. It's nice to see you. Hi, everyone. And Chris is saying, I need to play the kids' line of Lucky Duck games. You do. Chris, you do. You do. You really do. You really do. They're so good. Um, uh, <laughs> as doing salsa dancing with the clap clap, I, I think I could. I think I've got hips that could <laughs> slay. Don't lie. Yeah, they don't lie. They don't <laughs> lie. I told about lies. No, I'm not, I'll not spread the, the vicious rumors that are going around right now because I feel a bit offended. But there are some rumors going around right now that I'm shorter than Brie. And I just feel like, you know, yeah. We might have to quash these somehow. Uh, <laughs> Facebook's a web of lies if you're not careful. <laughs> anyway, with, without much further ado, let's bring our hungry monsters in now. Let's see if I can do this in a way that makes sense. No, that's my face. Boom. <laughs> so for anyone that's been living under a rock, yummy, yummy monster. And I'm hoping the music, by the way, is the music coming through? Because we've got the music here. I'm hoping you all at home can hear the music. And if you can't, I'm going to rocket it through the roof because I love it. It's like. It is pretty great. Prepare if you're wearing headphones. Hopefully you can get more music now. Just one small warning. This game is addictive. My son wants to play yes. it almost every day. Oh, no music. Boo. Oh, man. And you know what? I actually know why there's no music now. I'm just going to... You up. can talk about this while I just do this. <laughs> I don't want to talk over that. I don't know if you guys can hear it's that. Wonderful. I'm really sorry if that just destroyed all of your ears. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, it is using Droid Cam, Chris. Ooh, getting technical, but it's also using 
Uh, it's also using OBS's virtual camera, and that's where I'm losing my uh, <laughs> music. That's where I'm losing my audio. So unfortunately, <laughs> you're just going to have to believe us that the audio in the game is wonderful and fun and exciting because it really is. It really is. Uh, so not another. <laughs> so not another quiet game, says Steve. I mean, you can turn the volume down, but then you will not get to hear the wonderful, wonderful noises of the happy monsters when you feed them. They do make some wonderful noises. Uh, <laughs> so in Yummy Yummy Monster Tummy, we're going to be starting in our grandpa's attic. You'll see here we have a, a deck of cards that represent chapter one. And in the grandpa's attic, we're going to find all sorts of things from like underwear to toilet plungers, more underwear, tutus, candy, which monsters love, cucumbers, which has vitamins on it that monsters don't love, uh, vinyl records, we've got another plunger, a remote control, a teddy bear, avocados, all sorts of stuff. And with all the different items we're going to find in Grandpa's attic and around Grandpa's house, we're going to be looking to feed them to monsters and trying to feed them colour combinations that match the colour of the monster's fur. By scanning the different cards in, we'll be working together, each of us each turn, to feed a card to the monster. And once we combine the colours that were fed to them, we're trying to get as close as possible to the colour of the monster itself. If we do really well, you'll see down here there's a second chapter of forest cards, and then scrapyard, and third deck of cards, and finally a fourth deck of museum cards as you work your way through the story. So there's lots of extra cards and abilities and special little tricks that you can unlock as you're going through the story mode. There's also a party mode, and... Uh, hopefully you're going to see this. There might be a bit of a delay on our replay cam. I'm going to call it the replay cam because there's going to be a delay. Um, we have the Encyclopedia of Monsters where as you play through the game, you can meet the normal monsters, but you can also meet the rabbits, the Hunter Harrys. You can meet the Scrappy Sammies and all the other different monsters that you're going to come across as you play through the story mode. So as you're going through, you're going to be unlocking more monsters to come across and that makes your party mode even wilder. Um, so we're going to start with the story mode. And I wasn't lying... <laughs> I'm going to choose two. What difficulty would you like, Brie? Easy, medium, or hard? Medium. Medium. All right, we'll keep it on medium. I'm going to go two players. I'm going to start in the attic. Now, I've already played through a few of these, and you'll see right here that I've only managed two stars on each of the three levels. I'm really... Well, I bet, yeah, like two and a bit. Yeah, two and a, two and a bit on the like first one. Yeah, two and a, two and a, and a, and a, and a pointy bit. Um... <laughs> Philippe says, our marketing dream team is streaming again. Have fun, Docs. Oh, Philippe, it's lovely to see you here. Thank you, Philippe. Um, and, and Andy's suggesting that Anarchy as and Bashful Brie. Oh, I never consider you myself. met me. Bashful? Yeah, you're a little bit. I'm not an Anarch. Am I Anarch? Am I Bashful? Wrong way round, Andy. Yeah. Anarch Bashful. <laughs> <laughs> a little reaction, be damned. Uh, <laughs> but today it's all co op. So there's no anarchy, it's working together. And we're going to go into first contact. Now, if you're playing for the first time, there's a guided tutorial to tell you what to do, but I'm going to just tell you guys how it's going to work. Forgive the camera at the side, it's going to be a little bit delayed. But what we've got is instructions to deal seven cards to each player. So you can put the box aside. Andy, I remember Garbage Pail Kids very, very well. Must be one of those old was... people things, is it? Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> Garbage Pail Kids were kind of like baseball cards with these just very bizarre characters on them mm -hmm. that were like, you would expect them to be like a, a cute cartoon character, but then it would turn out to be like the trash raccoon. Is but he trying to say that you're this or no, I'm this? No, but like the, <laughs> like the cards, basically. I thought Andy was suggesting that one of us was a garbage pill kid. I don't think so. We're watching you. We're watching you. Um, I, yes. Uh, Old enough to remember. I can only think of the really rude things. Jeez. They were, there were some really rude things. <laughs> oh, and Sebastian, it's lovely to see you. Thank you for stopping by, sir. I hope you're painting. Don't you dare stop painting. We can keep the stream on in the background. Uh, they were awesome. Work a, worth a Google surrender. Battle? No, not sorry. Battle Cree just joined and got my tongue twisted. Hello, Battle Cry. Uh, Andrew says garbage peel kids are worth a Google. Am I saying that right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So we not each and don't look at your hands. Don't look at your hands. We have to keep it private. We each have, from each other, from each other, we each have a hand of seven cards. Now you get less cards if you have more players. You'll see that we've got a monster on the screen who's pointing out his hungry tummy, saying, ah, oh, hungry mouth, ah, he wants some food. We're trying to, what we're trying to do, if you look at the screen, you'll see the color of the monster is this kind of like pale yellowy green. We can talk about what we've got, but we can't really give anything specific away. So you can say you get something a bit lighter, a bit darker, a bit close to it, but you're not going to say anything spot on. In the very first level of the game, 
when we're playing the attic. The only special things we have to be aware of are vitamins and candy. Now, vitamin cards have at the top of them this little vitamin symbol. If we feed a vitamin to a monster, they don't like it. And they won't be able to have another vitamin for three cards. You have to play, play a vitamin, you have to play three non-vitamin cards until the vitamin alarm goes down. The other thing is, though, they love candy. They don't like vitamins, but we know, we all know this. Like, we all know they love candy, monsters. So if you feed them a candy, it'll always perfectly match their color. So it's a great way of saying, we need to recover a little bit. We don't have something close, we'll play a candy. Uh, and hey, Devin, it's lovely to see you here. Hey, Thank you for stopping by. Keep up the great work, as always. What a star. So I've got some stuff that's close, but they're vitamins. Uh, I don't have vitamins. I do have some things that might combine to make that color. And okay. one thing that's pretty close. Well, there's a bit of strategy. My phone's trying to log, silly phone. There's a bit of strategy because we could have you play your thing that's a bit random, might combine, and then I can throw mine in and see if I can mix it. Or I can play the vitamin, and that gets the vitamin out of the way quicker so we can get three cards played to clear the vitamin because that's what we want to do. So what do you think? Do you want to go for the match or do you want me to play the vitamin first so we can clear it quicker? I bet that one's not close to it in color. Oh, it's, it is. it's good. It's, okay. Yeah, it's yeah. a good color. I'm, I'm it's okay with a little trying. darker than it. Okay. Okay. I can try to lighten it a bit. Yeah. Cool. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna, what I'm going to do for everyone at home, you'll see on the cards, on one side we've got the color of the card and what it's called, and on the back, we have a unique QR code. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to hold the, the, the QR code and the card over the top, and you'll see hop, immediately, and then in a moment on the replay camera, it's going to hop, scoff it into his mouth. And down the bottom of the screen, underneath the monster, you see there's two cards because we're playing with two players. One of them has now filled in with that dark green avocado color that I've played. And there's an empty card spot now waiting for Bree. I've, however, triggered on the left-hand side the vitamin alarm. I fed a vitamin to the monsters. <laughs> It's exactly what a vitamin alarm sounds like if you've never heard one before. Vitamin alarm. Oh, is that a vitamin alarm or a vitamin alarm? A vitamin. It's, I say vitamin. You, you say, say vitamin. vitamin. <laughs> <laughs> so we have to now play three cards without playing another vitamin, 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 and then we'll be safe again. No pressure. I can lighten it a little or I could lighten it a lot. I would go with the, I would focus less on the lightning and more on keeping it greeny. They're both pretty green. I trusted you then. Hey, Toby. Hey, yummers. Oh, I like oh, my. yummers. Yummers. Especially and, with this game. I like it. Yeah. And Seb, you've got an amazing, amazing question. It says, is this oh, sim? Yeah. Could it be similar to Soviet Kitchen? You are so correct. You'll see that with Yummy Yummy Monster Kitchen, especially on the back. Well, you know, when I say Yummy Yummy Monster <laughs> Kitchen, that's going to be the sequel. With uh, Yummy Yummy Monster Tummy, we did indeed work with Hyper Games. Uh, we have partnered with them to take essentially what was their initial Soviet Kitchen game, uh, which was a little dark, a little bit more adult content, and bring it to uh, a family-friendly, much more light and vibrant audience with this story, um, that story mode and party mode together. So yes, you're 100% right. So in addition to your avocado, I am going to feed this monster a watering can. So that's actually a really good color. So this is the color... So we can see these are the two colors played, and hopefully you're going to see in the replay now on the side. Oh, I missed the burp. They'll see it on the replay. Then. Brie, that's a three-star match. Oh, baby, straight out the gate. Now, that's just the first one. It says, awesome. This number shows you how well you've matched the monster's fur color. The better the mix, the more stars we'll get. So we can see if you actually want to strategize in the background. Oh, no, what's happened there? I hope we're still running. This this thing's gone down. Hopefully, you haven't lost Bree. I think we're still good. We've maybe lost Bree. I think you've lost me. Oh no. Okay, don't worry. Bree is still here, even though you can't see her. So on the screen, you should still be able to see. There's a blue monster now in front, and then behind, there's a purple monster coming. It also told us to draw one card apiece, and I'm going to hopefully refresh this so we can get Bree back because without her on cam, we know she doesn't exist. So we can <laughs> <laughs> we can't play a vitamin for two more cards. Okay. And we're going for blue now, and we know there's like a darky, purpley, burgundy kind of thingy, eggplanty kind of color coming. Okay. I have, I, a, I have a pretty good card for this. It's not quite as vibrant, but otherwise... I have something that's good for this, but it's lighter. Mine so is, does that actually... Mine is pretty close in darkness. It's just not as bright. Pretty close in darkness, just not as bright. All right, do it. I love it. All right. 
Let's so give it a camera's just there. So, yeah, perfect. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, Vinyl Record goes in. And I'm going to play a storybook. And I'm going to bring him, I'm going to bring him up this time. So, hopefully... Wait for it. See if you like... Sounded like you liked it. Sounded, sounded like you liked it. Oh. Oh, oh my God. Oh. New yes. bringing you along was Nailed gonna be it. good. So one for you. Last one. Only three monsters in this first level. If we can get another three star Brie, we're gonna be three starring like a chump. I have a I have a really good one for this, I think. I have something that is right in the color area. I was right in the brightness area, but a little over to one side color wise. Yeah, mine is not quite as purple, not quite as red as Ooh. are you kidding? Okay, I'm just, I'm just gonna do this. I'm just gonna be bold. Okay. Uh, Cause I've got one that's more red. Let me see. I've got, so this is the sled. So I'll show everyone yeah. at home. So I'm hoping you have like a darky blue kind of to get us into that purple territory, maybe a dark orange. Um, well, now I'm second guessing myself. Maybe I'm... <laughs> Bree is frozen. Oh, we had lots of updates. The monster looks just like you as was eating all that chicken at Tabletop Gaming. Oh man, I do love chicken. Um, Bria frozen. We hopefully got Bria. Are you back? Wait, 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 are you back? Robert? Yeah, you are. Okay, great. Uh, Bria, how long are you going to be in the UK? Says Sebastian. Uh, probably another month. month? Some amount of time. Some well, amount. Although I won't be in the UK the whole time. <laughs> yeah, we've got trips to Scotland. To well, this is UK. Trips to Poland to meet the rest of the Lucky Duck team as well. So it's going to be lots of travels and engaging times. Um, wow. And they're now talking about what it's like to eat chicken. I'm not going to bring those comments up. I'm going to leave those comments right, right there. <laughs> So actually, my card that I was going to play is mm -hmm. pretty close to what you have. It's a little darker. And you uh, can I... play Vitamins now. The Vitamin Alarm is gone. Okay. In case that uh, changes things. No, I don't think I want to play that one. I okay. do have some candy. Do you know what? I want to get three stars in this level so badly. If you want to play a candy, I think you should do it. Okay. Because we're going to shuffle up again at the end of this level, and this is the last monster in this oh, level. Oh, well, then definitely. Candy it. We could get three stars. We could get three stars. Looks like a perfect color. So when you feed a candy to the monster, it always matches it perfectly. So you'll see in the bottom of the screen, the second card that we played was exactly the same color as the first. Oh yeah, give us those stars. Mm -hmm. I knew I could trust on you. I knew I could trust you. I'm gonna give these to you. You can, you can poker style, shuffle them if you want. Get some. So we've got the news that we can, yeah, you can wash out if you want. Uh, so we completed the level. So we, kids and big kids like me, absolutely adore this. And me. So we're going straight into the second level. This is the four, oh sorry, this is the Grandpa's Attic. This is where the game is at its easiest. There's no special abilities on the cards. It's really just the vitamins and the candy that we're looking out for. As you go through and you go into the forest, you're gonna access a whole pile of new cards that get unlocked, some of which have abilities. So for example, in the bottom of the guitar, it says everyone gives one card to the player on their left. And um, we also have, uh, is the fish? I don't remember if the fish is in here. Yeah, the fish actually cancels the vitamin alarm. So you can strategically use the fish to be able to play more vitamin cards more regularly. And then as you go into the scrapyard and then eventually into the museum, you get more abilities, more powers that let you do snazzier things. But at the same time, you also get tougher monsters and special rules. So for example, there's monsters that want only to be fed stuff from their area. We might get to it tonight. Let's, let's rock through another level. So we need seven apiece. I'll let you do it. I'm not going to touch it. That, was, that went so well. I feel like I rigged it and I didn't. So now I'm looking for like a complete Vegas style. See if we can beat the house again. <laughs> so three stars is the goal. I have something that is right on the money, but it's a vitamin. I have something that's very close and it's not. It's a little lighter, okay, but it's really close, and it is not a vitamin. So I'll play my vitamin first, if that's okay, because then you can help clear. Uh, so I'm going to play some cauliflower, which we all know is terribly healthy. Hello, Brandon. Hi, Brandon. Brandon of Tangerine Games. I salute you, sir. It is lovely to see you. Um, how does it work with more than two players? Do you have to mix three plus players? Yes, 
and that you do indeed. Every player each round plays one card. So with three players, you put three in, with four players, you put four in. But you have a better selection of cards to go around from, obviously. Uh, so Cauliflower goes in. And I will add to the Cauliflower some underwear. Some underwear. I think this is definitely a two-star, if not a three-star. And that cleared the first level of the vitamin alarm. Mm. Oh, little burp. Little cute burp. Oh, that is so close. That is an 83% match. That is just, I think that's 2% <laughs> shy of uh, of a three-star. Grab a card each. There you go. There you go. Oh, no, I think we've lost Brie again. Oh, no. What is happening with her Brie cam? I'm just overwhelming this poor computer. Brie can't cam hand, can't is handle me. having a mare. Um, oh, no. I have something which is legitimately perfect for this monster. But it's a vitamin. And what we're is not... with you and getting the cards that are perfect? But, but vitamins. vitamins. Yeah. So, yeah, you can't play that right now. Uh, and I, yeah, I will not be able to play it for this monster. At I have all. the same color basically that I had for this colored monster last round that was also not a vitamin. Oh, so my, my phone is being. I feel like that's probably worth playing here. Yeah, Chuck. <sighs> yeah. It's pretty I... close. It's not as. Like it needs, I think it needs a little bit of blue to get closer to its real color. Is it darker or lighter than what's there now? It's about the same in darkness. It's okay. just less purple and more red. Okay, do it, do it. Okay, I've got a card then. Yeah. Okay. Um, it's not ideal, but I'm going to put in a purple storybook, which I think we might end up a little bit too bright. We might. I think this will be pretty close. Uh, I don't know. You seem to like that it. That looked good. That looked good. Okay, I'm going to mute this again. Oh, are you kidding? 84% oh, no. match? But look how happy he is. He was so happy. Okay. <laughs> so I have uh, I have a couple of great cards for this, but they're both vitamins. Okay. Well, we still can't play them, right? Oh, we can. We've cleared oh, it now. We've cleared okay. it. Um, I don't have anything close to that brightness. I have two greens one is really pale the other is a vitamin uh oh okay. but i did just draw a candy oh that's candy it that's candy it so let me i'll do yeah. i'll get the vitamin out of the way it doesn't well yeah. there's one no there's still one more monster to come after this oh no oh but the next one that's coming is purple and mm. i have a vitamin that's purple so maybe i shouldn't vitamin now I have some pinks, but I don't have anything else that's close to purple. All right, let's, mine are not vitamins. Let's chuck your card in and like see candy? how how drastically I need to fix it because I, I have like a I have a reasonably good card and then a very good card, but it's a vitamin. Which one do you want me to chuck in? I don't know. Candy. You won't need to fix it. What's your are you any other options? I have some greens, but they're not bright. One is very pale. One is a little darker, but it's a vitamin. Oh goodness! Your call. I leave it to you. I leave it. I leave it to my guess. Oh no, we lost that one now. What's happening? This one's crushed. I feel like this is a Streamyard issue. I feel like Streamyard is absolutely destroying our lives right now. Because the second time you reloaded this one, it didn't stream. Failed to re reload. All right. Nobody move. Don't <laughs> touch anything. Hopefully, we're back and audible and visible. <laughs> okay. Do your thing. Do you it's do the in fly? Don't where's the fly? Do what you think is right, and I'll see what I Would can do. Would you need to be able to play a vitamin on the next monster? Yes. So we need to not play one on this. I think you should can be. Yeah, do it. <laughs> this is a live stream, of course. Yes, li if live streams today, if they went correctly all the time, life would be too easy. Uh, so you've candied, and I'm going to just play a slightly off blue or green, more more kind of pastel green. It should be good enough to to keep us. I don't know if it's going to be a three star. Oh, uh, I did the audio for that one. Uh, 
I recognized your verb. Yeah, baby. That's worrying. <laughs> <laughs> Not high fiving the recognizing the verb, mm -hmm. high fiving the three stars. Um, is there another one still? Oh, there is another one behind this. Um, okay. Oh. Well, I have a pink that's not a vitamin. I have several pinks, but I have one rich. that's closer to this color. It's just not dark enough. Rich pink or like a soft pink? I have both, but I mean, like the one that I have that's playable for this, it's not dark enough. Okay. I've got, I've got a vitamin I'm going to play that you can then react to. Okay, so I'm going to do this. So adding in a dark purple. So it probably needs lightened and pinked a little bit. Can I look at that card? Oh, that... Sure. Okay. Ooh. I don't feel like it needs to be lightened a lot. Yeah. Just a little. Just, just a little. Just, just a titch. Just a smidge. Smidge, is that a measurement in America? Yes. A smidge? A smidge. A smidge. Yes. A pinch, a smidge. Uh, yeah, I like it. It's scanning so quick, I love it. Oh, that was the smallest burp. Oh, that's on the money. Oh, that's a 96% match. Oh. Everyone gets the card. All right. I was going to head and go to... <laughs> I think that was, that was really good. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just candy it up straight in last it's the last monster of the level I'm gonna give him a candy okay. still can't fit him in but i can play anything that's not yeah okay nice wow you find both sets of grandos teeth the monday through friday and the weekend teeth as well nice spare teeth spare teeth mm. are we actually going to three star this level though i really 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 hope got... so Two, two, three, three. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, baby! Wow. Yes. I, I knew teaming up with you <laughs> was the thing. Okay, I'll let you, I'll let you shuffle again. <laughs> this is like, I'm not going to lie, folks, but like, when you bring in Brigitte to Lucky Duck, just the right thing. She's three stars, yummy, yummy, lots of coffee, and completes in your Rush Rift and Time campaign. So, yes. <laughs> just, <laughs> we're making good progress. I think we do another Attic one. And if we nail it, maybe we can go and do one in the forest as well. Just okay. maybe just maybe one. We don't want to spoil everything, but maybe we can go meet some new monsters. There is a type of monster in the game called... Oh, is it, it's, oh I'm going to forget his name. Hold on. Let's look at the encyclopedia. I don't need to remember his name. We can look at the encyclopedia while reshuffling. He is my favorite. Not ancient. Silent Steve. Mm -hmm. So Silent Steve says, uh, is the shyest monster and he really loves silence. You have to feed him in absolute silence so there's no talking aloud. Shh. We like our tranquility stream the other week. I also like, there's a Camila, is it Camila monster next? Yeah, the Camila monster turns into the color of the first card that you play on it. Which means when you're playing with a group of four people, especially, you have to really think about what color you turn it so that you work well for the whole team. Dude, this is medium. We can always put it on hard if we really wanted to be bold. But uh, <laughs> Bree is Blee is clearly legendary. Steve Wait for says it. he feels seen. Oh, Aww, Steve. Steve. We see you, Steve. But we don't hear you. Though. We don't hear you, but we see you. <laughs> What a great, what a great thing it would be if we had one of our crowdfunding campaigns or one of our, like I don't know, one of our games. We had some kind of competition that we put you in the game. We made one of the furry monsters named after one of our fans. I love it. Let's pretend that Steve, that was named after you. <laughs> <laughs> Just for the sake of this stream, Steve. That's what I'm saying. All right, are we ready for complicated friends? Yes. Here we go. Shuffle all the cards. We did seven already. Nice. Uh, oh, we're still on Wall Street. <laughs> I'm in a little bit of danger here. Hmm. I am in a little bit of danger. Uh, wow. I have, I have a quite pale beige. Oh. It's but it's kind of on the pink side. Oh. Uh, 
oh. or like a true beige, but that's way too dark. True beige? Don't sell to any fake beige or any of your false beige. This is true beige. True beige, baby. Um, all right. You, uh, I have a, it's not a rainbow, but it's, it's, it's the stuff happening. You chuck in what you can, and I'm going to see how I can best fix it. I do have a backup plan if I need to. Right. Yeah, you do your thing. You can have my lost sock. Oh, that's oh, that's really not bad actually. I'm scared that I'm gonna mess this up so much that that we're not even gonna get a star. And I should say this because we're being amazing right now. But if you do not get at least one star, which I think is on medium is a sixty five percent match. If you don't get at least one star, you feel and have to start again. So it is possible to lose. But you just have to restart the level, right? Yeah, you just have to restart the level. And this is the first one. Just just a... We're fine. I'm going to feed him a remote control. I mean, he's smiling. He's smiling, but is this is this bird that really tells the story? Okay. Good bird. A little far. Oh, it's not that far off. Okay. Got three? Oh, you. 85 exactly. I did not expect Nailed that. Nailed it. I was, I was worried. Right. Oh no. Hmm. <laughs> I have a pretty good green. It's not very bright. That's but okay. It's pretty close in, in color, I think. But dark. Yeah. Vitamin? No. No. Okay. Yeah. Do your thing. All right. Green uh, watering oh, can. Oh, I'll go higher. higher. There we go. Um, hmm. okay, I think I do have a pile of the candy in my hand, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna play it. I'm gonna throw a lemon in. I don't think this is gonna give us an amazing match, but hopefully, it definitely matches enough because I'm really bringing up the brightness there. That's not bad. That was mm. quite yellow. He seems, he seemed happy with it. I take a two there. Yeah. I will take a two there. Yeah. I'll take a two. Okay. Oh, someone's coming. Is this the beast in you's coming? <gasps> but we can still talk about. We still talk about. No. Yeah, yeah. We still talk about. No, he's not. He's not here yet. He's not here until next. And you played a vitamin on the last turn. I right? did play okay. a vitamin on the last turn. So we need to be really careful since we won't be able to talk on the next yeah. one. So I've got um, a dark blue. Um, I have an orange. Would that I don't know what blue and orange make together. <laughs> uh, I can't sort of fit them in. And a blue, or, I would expect blue and red to make purple. Yes. And, if, and red is red and orange is red and yellow. No. I also have something that's lighter than it. Um, kind of pinky. I have a blue also. Dark? Dark? Not super dark. But dark, dark, but not dark. super dark. Or pretty, pretty dark. dark. Pretty dark. <laughs> so your skill goes. It's like seven or eight. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. I rock it. You do. It. You, you jump in there. there. Yeah. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. I. I I'm gonna come in with a with a tutu with a, a, a brightish pink tutu to hopefully. Uh, oh. Oh. That. But. Because we played two. Yeah. It just took a second. Oh no, that doesn't look good. Oh, that doesn't look good. Oh, please get one. Okay, we got one. We got 69%. Okay. <laughs> look, this big eared monster. Quikey. Shh. The executive Peter says this is silent, Steve. We should feed him in absolute silence. No talking is allowed while feeding. Good. 
Okay, it's gone. Oh, Steve, what a nightmare you are. Oh. I had four, but I haven't got rid of my hand. But you, you, you played that very well, but just putting them on the table, I, okay, I understand, I'll go. <laughs> <laughs> like that, that was the perfect action to be like, okay, I know exactly what she means. It doesn't say I can't communicate at all. It yeah, just it's, says, it's, it's, yeah, exactly. I'm just going to be bold because this is the last monster. Okay. Candy. And I can play a vitamin card. You can, yeah. Because I have something kind of purple. Okay. Grips in there. <laughs> Love it. This is... Like showing how much he likes it, right? No, or that's, it's just that's a okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's all my money. That's three stars. That's three stars for sure. Oh, yeah. That's yes. an E and E7. I don't know if he three stars the level, though. I don't know. That first one was rough. <gasps> oh, yes. Oh, yeah. All right. I think we do one the forest. Yeah? Yeah. One. So. If we go back, now I've already unlocked this, as I mentioned, I've been playing earlier, so I've actually already unlocked the forest, I've actually already unlocked the scrapyard, and I've not yet unlocked the museum. But whenever you unlock in the area, you grab, we've got four levels in the forest, you grab its deck, so you get congratulations for unlocking this new set of items. So as I mentioned, these will have some abilities on them and give us new colors and new cards, and they'll be noted by an icon in the bottom left-hand corner to show that they are from the forest. And that's relevant because, if you wouldn't mind shoving all these all in, please bring them, there are certain monsters that will come up that will specifically want to eat from their location. So I've already done this a little bit, so I'm just going to show you in the encyclopedia. If we go back and we find our little forest friend. There he is. So Hunter Harry, he works exactly like a normal monster, but they have a reward for you if you feed them an item that comes from their location. So when you feed a forest item to Hunter Harry, you get to draw an additional card. So you get more options for playing. So forest. So welcome to the jungle. I mean, it works, right? We know forest and jungle, but it works. We like the Guns and Guns and Roses reference. Okay, so I have two star this one as well. Apparently, apparently two stars. I got a I got a little nudge in that one, but apparently two stars was. Oh, I got a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of absolute silence. Oh, tiny bit in the third star. Is but that a fully silent level? Who knows? Who could possibly say? Possibly say. Right. Here. Let's do it. Let's do it. Welcome to the jungle. Mm -mm. Ooh, wow, even more hungry monsters are hiding here in the forest. Let's get them something to eat. So we need seven cards each. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so we've got a very bright luminescent green and a much bigger deck now. I have dark green. Uh, I is it a uh, vanilla? No. Okay, I'm good with that. I'm good with that. You get an acorn. Back here. There you go. Yeah, love it. Well, that is. Um, so I'm going to play a guitar. So everyone gives one card to the player on their left. So let us trade some cards. And it's a good strategy to try and. Share your colors. So if you've got two colors similar, it can be good to pass them around. I like the way both looked away. Mm -hmm. We both just assumed it was going to be fine. That's a two star. That's okay. Uh, oops. Oh. I have some that are pretty close. Mm -hmm. so okay. Now, look, a real forest monster. They're spe they especially love items that come from the forest. So as I mentioned before, Look at your items to see if there's a forest icon next to some of the card names. If you don't have any forest items, don't worry. If you do, try feeding them to this monster to see what happens. Uh, uh, we all need to draw one at the start of the round, anyway. Uh, well, yeah, I have nothing close to this guy. Uh, I, could, I could play a blue. Uh, do you have a yellow? No. Gee, I mean, 
nothing even remotely. Well, so I think the safest thing to do then is for you to play anything, and I have I have a, a good one. Okay. Even if it's a vitamin, you're good to play it. So I mean, you... I could play a. I could play a vitamin just to get rid of it. But it still needs but, to be. But I'd have. I could also just play a forest card so that we get the bonus. Yeah, that's good. As long as it's not wildly different from. It would be a blue. Blue is the closest I have. Okay, go for it. I think. Oh, goodness. Light or dark or middle. Darkish side of middle. Okay, thank you for that. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, you fed a, a forest card. So it says, great feeding, draw one card. So you get to draw one. Oh, wait a minute, what happened there? Oh, sugar. What? I think we might, I might have, I don't know what I did there, but I think I might have accidentally fed him a card earlier. But we might have to get through that. I don't know exactly what happened there. I don't know what happened there. I think there's a chance that we double fed, but it's okay. Okay, so draw one. No, I don't need to draw one because I didn't play one. You draw one. I've got the perfect card for this. Okay. I got a candy. Nice. So dark red is logged in. And there's no forest. Oh, there is a forest. He is a forest, forest guy, yeah. Okay. And your candy was not forest. Yeah, my candy's my candy is just from the grandpa's attic. So now that we've fed him the candy, mm -hmm. can I feed him any color? Or does it still it still mixes? Like okay. it's still gonna the, the candy Could colors. Move it away. Yeah, of course. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. But like a, a pink that's a forest it's good. would be good. Yeah, okay. and you get to draw an extra card. And it's a guitar. Nice. Oh, so we're going to pass, okay. So draw mm. one card. Yeah. And yeah, this is absolutely, it's going to move out a little bit, but it's still going to stay very close to what it was. Go on for three. Go on for three. Yes, 87. So pass for the guitar. Uh, I will pass. Um... And if anyone's looking closely, there's actually another new type of monster coming. I'm fine. Yeah, that's fine. No cheating. Pass the card first. No cheating. You better pass the card first. There we go. Just to make sure. Okay. <laughs> you did the same thing. <laughs> Strategy. There's a little bit. Bree and I. Oh, you've reviewed the proof of the rule book, and I have played a lot yeah. of this game. And yeah, the <laughs> um, so both of us have been strategizing silently there very well, though, without actually saying anything. We both had a similar strategy. Um, I've got something that's pretty good for this. I don't. Um, oh, I need to draw. I need to draw one, sorry. I've still got one that's pretty good for this. Do you want to go first, then? And I'll see. I have a couple of ways of adjusting towards it. Wow, you're really... It's pretty bad. Uh, I guess that's kind of okay, maybe. Do you want me to go first? Oh, that's absolutely okay. Yeah, that's fine. And I will be brightening it and kind of peaching it up a little bit. I think that's all right. That's definitely going to pass, at least. It might not be a three-star, but it's definitely going to pass. Right? 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 Yeah. Oh, that's good. Nice. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. a 96%. Nice. Okay. Nine. <gasps> Warning. Duh. What? <laughs> Does this creature look familiar? Yes, it's a rabbit. Rabbits don't care what color items you feed them. They only care about their beloved vitamins. Feed them only vitamins, no matter the color, or you will instantly lose. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, um, aha. So we better save all our vitamins for the rabbits. Uh, and also looking ahead, behind the rabbit is a dark green Hunter Harry coming. So I'm going to play some dark blue blueberries to the rabbit. Okay. I will play some light purple grapes. Nice. Double vitamins. Happy rabbit. Boom, boom, boom. 100%. Happy rabbit. Happy rabbit. Look at those eyelashes. Yeah. So I have something in the right color, but it is bright. I have something that will work with that. It's not a forest card, but it's like a no, there's mine. tail. Mine is a bit of it, though. Then you should go first. All right. 
So that's a light green avocado. Oh. So he says, beware. I thought you said bright. I did say bright. That's, oh. that's... And then you said pale. Well, okay. bright, pale, pale, bright, same difference. But mine's not. Toby says to watch out, beware, it's got sharp pointy teeth. Yeah. I think he needs the holy hand grenade of Antioch. <laughs> uh, not sure how well this will. It'll, oh, okay. I thought it was bright. Mine was bright. Yours is cute. We did it dark. Peel, bright, bright, peel, same difference. Not the same. Uh oh, uh oh. It, oh, one star? One star? Oh, okay, 67% one star. Ooh, we very nearly lost it right there. <gasps> Sleeping Steve. Oh, it's actually locked in the green for the last time again. Oh, I don't know what's happened there. I think we have a little bug. Oh, please get us to two. Please get us to one or two. I think a little, I have to report a little bug to the team. I think we've got a little bug there. Double fed him. Um, oh, because there was a sneaky extra monster. What? Is, did it already lock in? Yeah, I think, it, I think it accidentally double fed, uh, which I think means we're in trouble because that's the closest thing I have. Oh no. I'm not gonna say that was our fault. It it double fed the monsters incorrectly. That was not on us. We can't call this our lose because this is not gonna match, is it? <gasps> Go to one. Okay, we're good enough. We're good enough to beat a bug. We beat a bug. It's fine. We go through this. We don't even worry. We, where's the fly? We're that good. Where's that, the fly? Where's the, where's the fly? That's the bug. That's how it got there. Two and a half stars was an improvement of what I did before, so I still call that a victory. It's we a didn't win. we didn't three star. So there you go. That is Yummy Yummy Monster Tommy. It's this, so fun. I love it. It really makes me happy. If you're playing through the story, you have to go through all four chapters, do multiple levels. You've got easy, medium, and hard difficulty. If you want to do the party mode, party mode is the same. You have the number of players and the difficulty you can set. But every card you've unlocked and every monster that you've met along the way will be unlocked as you go. So your party mode becomes bigger and bigger the more often you play. What changes as you change the difficulty? So the what you're trying to get in terms of the color matching becomes harder. So you're having to get more close, essentially, is what you're trying to do. Um, so yeah, this is going to be in stores, hopefully worldwide, hopefully. Uh, I'm going to get rid of this for a second. Uh, Ivory, you're so big. There we go. Uh, hopefully. Didn't you hear? I'm, as tall, I'm taller than you. Don't even start. <laughs> the, within about a week, we hope, maybe two weeks in some places, just as we're dealing with worldwide logistics issues. Um, I, I want to quote the price. I'm going to quickly double check to make sure I say it right. I do not want to get this wrong. I want to say something, but I don't want to. I want to check myself. That is fifteen ninety nine euro, and it is. Did you get this right? Yes, nineteen ninety nine in dollars. If you're picking this up, it is a little box. But you can't miss it. It is super super cute. If your store does have one, if it does have a digital hybrid section, and if it doesn't, you should ask them why they don't. But if it does have a digital hybrid section. Look for it there because, of course, it has the app support. Well done, Bree. Four, four levels, three, three stars, and one, two and a half. I'll take it. With the asterisk on the With last the one, yeah. that makes it yeah. three stars. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do over on that one for sure, for sure. <laughs> okay. Well, look, thank you so much, everybody, for stopping by. This was a bit of fun. Thank you, Bree. Thank you, and welcome to the team. Thank you so much. All right, everyone. We're gonna say good night. Have a lovely day, a lovely night, wherever you are in the world, and play some games. And we'll see you again next week. From Poland? From Poland. From Poland. Bye. Bye.